It's always very, very heartwarming for me to be in Kitukum. As I have always told you, when I'm in Acholi and in Kitukum, I'm in my home. The problem that they have been talking about, which is in FDC, is part of the big crisis and problem that is in the whole country. Even Uganda, but Uganda is not yet our country. We just live there. In fact, refugees in Uganda, sometimes, if not most times, live better than Ugandans. Our struggle, the struggle of FDC, is mainly to return the country of Uganda into the hands of Ugandans. Our money does not serve us because we don't control Uganda, we don't control our money, our wealth. This year, the budget of Mr. Museven's home, the home of the president, not the office, just the home, is going to eat 802 billion this year in the home, in one home of Mr. Museven. 802 billion. I think the budget of the whole of Kitugum municipality, the district, the whole district, I think the budget is about 30 billion. I'm not sure. What is the budget of that district? It's less than 32 billion. For the whole of Kitugum, the municipality and all the other places, this year you have 32 billion. But the home, one home, are 802. So Uganda is not ours. Uganda is owned by Mr. Museveni and the family. That's why you have a government where he is the president, the wife is the minister, the son is the army commander, the brother is the one in charge of giving people wealth, the brother, the son-in-law is the one in charge of exports. The, the whole of Uganda is managed just by a family. That's why it is very urgent that all of us as Uganda talk about how we get our country back and use all our money equally on ourselves. We are talking about running FDC. The party FDC should be run by us, the members of FDC. But how many members of FDC here have ever put money in FDC? You can't put money in FDC because you don't have it. Everybody is very poor. Every member of FDC is very poor. If so we can't put money in the party, because we have been fighting for a long time, even the leaders who lead FDC have been becoming poorer and poorer and poorer. Most of the time, they hand themselves alone. They go alone and hand themselves over. But towards the 2021 elections, our leaders of the party came to me and said, you can see our people are surrendering one by one. Very soon, we shall not have leaders. They will have gone because they have a lot of problems. So maybe the best way forward is let us all now negotiate so that we can maybe get something and instead of going one by one, we find a way of working with those who can keep us surviving.
and you never know in the future Museven will die is old. <laughs> They say, we wait, let us wait until something happens. I disagreed with them. Even if we are in a bad position, fighting for your country is not a simple thing. We shall pass through difficulties, but we must be strong. We must be resilient. We must tighten our belts, even in poverty. We must accept if we could defeat the British and they win, how can we fail to defeat Museveni, who cannot make his own gun? So yes, that's why I have come back. Not only to talk about FDC, but to talk about the whole country, how we get ourselves out of these problems, and do so as quickly as possible. Me, I don't think that we should sit here that we are waiting for election of 2026, which we know he's already preparing to speed. We should work amongst ourselves, even if it is tomorrow, next month, next year, if we are together, if we fight together, we can change this country, whether there is an election or no election. So the problem in FDC, please understand it. There are those who are in FDC, but saying, Things have become very tough. Let's for the time being work with Museven. And we are saying no. That's we have suffered already for 40 years. We shall suffer any more time until the country comes back to us. So these are the two questions that are really in FDC. That those were the questions in DP. Some people in DP chose to work with Museven. Other people in DP have said no. Same thing in the UPC. Some people in the UPC have developed cold feet and work with Museveni. Other people in the UPC are saying no, the struggle must continue. So for us, this is not a fight for just FDC. The people in the UPC, the people in DP, the people in NUP, the people in FDC, who want a new country? We are now busy uniting everybody to fight and get our country back. Museveni has dominated us using the force of guns. We are not going to fight him using guns. No, many people in Acholi especially supported me in 2001 because they said, aha, we have now got a colonel. He's going to bring guns and we are going to fight Museven and the Grim of him. I can assure you, if we want guns, we know how to get them. I can assure you. I can also assure you that if we have guns and we have the population supporting us, we can defeat those with even bigger guns when we have the population behind us. And so, we want Museven to command his guns and if you allow me, I will command those without guns. And we shall face each other and see who defeats the other. He to be sure, it's not going to come easy that you just go to an election and he says, oh, you have defeated me, now you have your country. That will not happen. Even without guns, we must show those with guns that we are stronger than them. First of all, of course, if we have to reclaim our country, everybody or the majority of the people must be aware of the problem and must be prepared to do something. If we are coordinated, all of us, we have a lot of power that guns can't defeat. Be ready, young people. Get your colleagues and have the, form the groups that we can use to do our work. Keep warming up. Where are you young people? I want to see you warming up. Are you there? Are you there? Who want to free their country? Show me your...